we're going to be implementing the hook form author with an event subscriber. We're going to use the hook event dispatcher. We're going to create an event subscriber and subscribe for the hook form author event. And we're going to do our changes for a node form, for example. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we already have the hook event dispatcher module downloaded and activated. So hook event dispatcher, there we go. And the next thing we want to do is we want to jump to the code base of our Drupal instance and we want to go to web modules custom and we're going to start creating our custom module. So we're going to create a module called Drupal up event hook. Event hook, which is not a perfect name, but it works. And we're going to create a info YAML file. And in the info YAML, we're going to say the name of our module is hook hook event dispatcher example description is going to be Drupal up form hook event dispatcher example it is of type module of course core 8.x and dependencies this time we're going to say that for dependencies we would have the Drupal hook event dispatcher module there we go so as you specify the dependencies here when we're activating the module the hook event dispatcher would have to exist so it would have to be downloaded and it would have to be activated and the next thing we want to do is actually we'll start creating our event subscriber so we're going to create a new file and it is going to be in our module folder in the src folder in the event subscriber folder and our event subscriber is going to be called node article form author event subscriber.php and this is going to be the name of the class that would exist inside of this file so we would have a class that is called like this and we would define here the namespace there we go namespace Drupal as always then the name of the module Drupal up event hook which is a quite weird name but let's stick with that and since we have here a folder called event subscriber we would also add that to the namespace so we say event subscriber there we go so the namespace is already good let's go ahead and say that here this is our event subscriber class that looks good already and we're going to of course implement the event subscriber interface and let's go ahead and take a look on drupal.org for the event subscriber interface if you just google event subscriber interface drupal 8 you would get this page from drupal.org and we would need it in order to find the namespace so here is the namespace for it so we are putting it here up use and we are putting also the event subscriber interface there we go and we're going to implement it here and we are going to 
define a public static function get subscribed events which is basically a required function that is always used in the event subscribers that we're defining in Drupal 8 and it basically returns a simple array that would be the name of the event followed by the callback that we're going to define here so let's go ahead and say the callback is going to be hook from author hook from author like this which is looking good so hook from author um, this looks good and here we're going to declare a public function that is going to be called hook from author and it's going to have the event here and additionally we're going to use the hook event dispatcher interface if we take a look at the contrib folder and in hook event dispatcher under src and hook event dispatcher interface here we see all the events that we could use from the hook event dispatcher so the interesting event that we want to use is basically form water so there it is no it's not the one yes hook from author perfect so what we want to do now is we would like to simply use the namespace from here so we're seeing in our own event subscriber use that interface so that we could quickly access it and from this interface we would like to get the form author this constant and the constant we're going to be getting like so here and this is all we want it basically just returns and in the array we have the event which is a good practice just to have the event as a constant as we see here and it is a good practice to simply get the interface like with the use statement and then just get the constant and then register a callback for it so this is what we did in general so here we're saying we're implementing hook event hook form author here that's what we're actually doing and we're going to simply do a kint because we have kint installed and we're going to say event here but in order to finish with declaring our event subscriber we would have to add also the services yaml file and mark our service as an event subscriber so we're going to simply add a new file in our custom module which is of course called the name of our module dot services yaml say services like this and then our first service which is the name of our module and then we're going to just say hook form author and it would have a class which is drupal then drupal up event hook event subscriber and then 
the node article event subscriber like this that's perfect and we'll have also the tags here and this is where we are basically saying that this service is an event subscriber there we go event subscriber yes it looks good so we declared our info file with the dependencies we declared our event subscriber here with a simple kint that we're going to activate a bit later and we mapped this service as an event subscriber with the tags here in the services yaml so the next thing we want to do is we want to jump to our drupal instance and we want to simply activate this module so event hook event dispatcher example and if we check here we see that it requires hook event dispatcher and the hook event dispatcher module is already activated which is cool if it was deactivated this was going to automatically activate the module since it exists and if it doesn't exist you would not be able to activate this module so we would click on install and and there is an error but it's obviously quite simple because here it's not written correctly symphony sorry about that so i would just resubmit the form let's go ahead and simply deactivate the module like so event hook event dispatcher example and let's activate the module again from the extend tab event dispatcher example there we go and if we install it this time if we simply copy it and if we refresh we would see the event variable here and it looks really nice because this way we are not just dealing with some um, functional hooks we are actually able to do some cool object-oriented programming and under variable methods we see that we have the form id so let's go ahead and print the form id here so we're getting the form id note article edit form and let's go ahead and do an if statement and say if event get form id equals to note our article edit form let's go ahead and add a let's first get the form so form equals to i guess it was event get form was it there we go and we're going to afterwards simply add something to our form so we're going to say form um, special title and we're going to add a renderable of type markup and we're going to put simply markup to be something like a div with class info and we're going to have here something like at ed edited it and we're going to close it correctly and in order to actually have it set we would actually have to do an 
event and set form I guess and do the form here so if we simply do the kint event again we would see if we actually have those methods and if they're correctly set so get form there we go we use the get form here and then we have the set form exactly as we expected so preferably now it should all work so if I just save it and if I remove the kint and die and yes we see here X edited it I was about to write at edited it but you get the idea so what we did in this video we basically implemented an event subscriber in order to do a hook form author with the help of the hook event dispatcher module if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe comment and thanks for watching